So I recently got a new job, and in this job, I basically just call people all day long. Don't worry, I'm not a telemarketer. It's more like customer service, customer engagement, that kind of bullshit, whatever. The people I call are more or less expecting me to call, and I'm not trying to sell anything to anyone, so it's okay. Now, as you might imagine, I have to leave a lot of voicemails, and a lot of people still have the old school basic voice message system. Hello, you've reached the Brown family. Sorry we couldn't come to the phone, but if you leave your name, your number, and a short message, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. By the way, who wrote that script because, like, everybody uses it? There must have been one day this guy was just fucking around. He was like, name, number, short message. And it just stuck with everybody. Every once in a while, you have people that try to be creative with their recording. Some people let their children do the recording. You have with the Robinson family. Please, please leave a message. And we we call you back as soon as possible. Thank you. And then every once in a while you get something really bizarre and left field. Hello. You have reached an imaginary number. Please rotate your telephone 90 degrees and try your call again. But more often people are going to have cell phones and you know cell phones have voice mailboxes and you know each company has their own automated message system recording thing that they do. And some of them are very short and to the point. You've reached Kelly or something um like leave a message and like maybe I'll call you back or whatever. Record your message at the tone. But some companies for some reason they make it really long and really awkward. You have reached the voice mailbox of two, five, three, five, 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 seven, seven, nine, seven. To leave a voice message, just wait for the tone. Send a numeric page. Press 1 now. If you'd like to leave a callback number, press 4. If you know your party's extension, please dial it now. Uh, uh, oh? uh, is, uh, At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Wait, did, did it beep? What is that? Why? And don't even get me started on these custom ringback tones. I want to slap whoever thought that was a good idea. Please don't enjoy this shitty, low-quality ringback tone while your party is reached. Now, working at this job has given me a whole new respect for people in similar situations, even telemarketers. So I thought I'd just share a little info just to make it easier for both sides of the phone. Now, the main thing you need to understand is that unless the person is working on commission, which they likely aren't, they really don't give a fuck whether you buy something or do the survey or whatever. They are literally just doing their jobs and they can't wait to stop doing their jobs so they can fucking go home. So you don't have to treat them like they're Satan spawn put on this earth just to torment you. And the same thing goes for people that are too nice. Look, if you're not interested, just politely say you're not interested. We don't care. You're not going to hurt our feelings. We hear it a million times a day. It's okay. Now, luckily, I don't deal with too many assholes because of the nature of my job, but come on. Don't be an asshole. Come on. Show some respect. I'm going to start doing a thing where I answer a question at the end of most of my videos. So here's today's question. You know, I never really got into Pokemon. I never played any of the video games, and I rarely watched the show. I remember in middle school, Pokemon cards were really cool, but Pokemon in general wasn't. For some reason. Anyway, I don't even know all the Pokemon. I think there's like 8,000 of them by now, isn't there? But if I had to pick one, I'd pick Scyther because I saw an episode with him one time and he was really cool looking and I love the way he sounded. Scyther! So if you ask me a question, I might answer it in a video. And if you ask me a question in video form, I'm like 10 times more likely to use it. Just saying. All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Holla.